Now what sort of equation is this? It's called a quadratic equation. If we have a squared term it's called a quadratic equation. And the most common approach, and I can't say you always do this because it's the odd occasion when this isn't the best way, but you virtually always rewrite the equation so it equals naught. So to do this I'm going to subtract 190 from both sides. So I've rewritten the equation so it reads equals naught. Now you don't have to do this but if you notice there is a common factor and each of these numbers 5, 45 and 190 divide by 5 and if you have a common factor it does make the work a little bit easier if you divide by it. So 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 45 goes 9, and 5 into 190, well, what does that go? 38. Now when you have a quadratic, the first thing you should try is factorising it, which means put it into brackets like this. However, in this particular question, the examiner's hinting quite definitely don't bother to try because it won't factorise. His hint is in the write the answer to three significant figures. That's the examiner actually saying to you it's going to be a decimal answer. So the examiner is saying to you don't bother to try and factorise it. So we have to think of another method. And one of the other methods is to use the formula. It's called the formula for solving quadratic equations. And that's what we want to do. Solve this quadratic equation. The formula for solving quadratic equations. Now it should be on any formula sheet that you use. So you don't have to learn it. But I do feel in learning things you learn how to use them. So it's not a bad idea. All I've got to do is to substitute numbers for the A's and the B's and the C's. And going back to this equation, A is the number in front of the squared term. B is the number in front of the H term. And C is the number on its own. Don't forget the sign. So strictly speaking, this is plus 1 and this is plus 9. Although you don't have to say it, and don't have to write it down, do think about it. And you certainly have to think about the minus. So I'm going to substitute these values for the A, B's and C's in this equation. So X equals minus B. Now if B is plus 9, then minus B must be the value of minus 9. Plus or minus the square root of b squared is 9 squared, 9 9 is 81. It is a calculator paper. You can use the calculator at any stage you like. But I always feel I'm happier not using it too soon. Not when I don't need to. This is where the most mistakes are made in this. When you come to look at the minus 4ac. So let's just look at it over here for a minute. Minus 4ac actually means minus 4 multiplied by A and multiplied by C. Which in this case is minus 4 multiplied by not just 1 but plus 1. Multiplied by not just 38 but minus 38. As I say most mistakes are made in this piece of working out. And often because it's the calculator and people aren't using it carefully enough. But without the calculator, I can go 4 times 1 times 38. 4 times 1 times 38. And I do mean without a calculator. 4 is 32, carry the 3. 3 fours are 12. 152. But I've also got to take into account this minus multiplied by a plus, which is minus. And then multiply by this minus with ends up as a plus. Try it with a calculator. If you get it right, then that's great. But I've seen it go wrong so often because of misuse of the calculator. Over 
two a, two ones. So I've got x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of these two numbers added together, which is three two hundred and thirty three. I hope. over 2a over 2. Now you expect two answers from this quadratic equation. One answer is minus 9 plus the square root of 233 divided by 2 and the other answer is minus 9 minus the square root of 233 divided by 2. So let's have a look at that on the calculator. Here we go. Minus 9. Now how do you know, do minus 9 on your calculator? On this particular calculator, if I press that minus there, that would be wrong. I need to press this minus this in the brackets. So minus 9 plus the square root of 233. I'm going to find the answer of that. And then I'm going to do answer divided by 2. And that gives me plus 3, 1, th now I should write down the whole calculator answer, but I will run out of space, so I'll just write that. That's one of the answers. The other answer is to do minus 9, so again I've got to make sure I press the right minus 9, minus the square root of 233. And I'm now going to divide that by 2. And that gives me this answer. Again, I'm not going to write it all down. Space won't allow me to. Now, not only that, the question tells me how accurate they want me to be. Three significant figures. So three significant figures here would be 3.13. Three significant here would be 1. Um, sorry, 12.1. Again, I'm waste, uh, saving space by just crossing that out. Now, these two answers may well be the solution to this equation. But, as far as the question is concerned, and the question was about a real thing, and we're working out the value of h, so therefore, in fact, the minus answer is what we call an unreal answer. So the answer is in fact 3.13 centimetres. I'm going to keep to put the units in. OK. So that's using the quadratic formula. The formula for solving quadratic equations. we're going to have for that. Well it's actually three marks. One mark for getting as far as that with the formula. One mark for getting as far as that with the formula. And one mark for actually writing down the answer and appreciating that in fact is that one and not both of them. That's question 13. Question 14. 